All I could do was yell and scream, you know, their house is on fire, and I called 911 immediately. It's like after I called 911, the fire just grew. It wasn't a chance of anybody even being saved. The night sky around a Little Rock neighborhood turning orange and red as emergency crews fight a blazing house fire. When the smoke and flames were doused, four people were found dead inside. Thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Laura Monteverdi. Well, good evening. I'm Bob Clawson. According to the city, police and fire departments got to the house. The fire started around 1.30 this morning. It's located on Greenfield Drive. Neil Zerang is live outside the home tonight. Neil, what have you been able to learn in talking to neighbors? Bob, Laura, I got to speak with a woman who called 911 whenever she heard her dog barking and then checked her security footage, saw that orange glow. She didn't even think there were four people inside that home whenever it started to go up in flames. A newly condemned home is the place four people lost their lives in Little Rock. We never had a tragedy like this in the neighborhood, ever. Destiny Davenport lives across the street with her four children. They all watched the fire, which was captured on their security camera. And the windows just started popping. You could hear the power lines. All the lights went out on the corner and on up our street. I don't even really want to look at it again. I've watched it enough. I don't want to look at it anymore. Robert Dare also lives across the street from the fire. The fire truck told me up, and there was a bunch of them. He's been a neighbor to the now burnt home for 54 years. It was the first one in the neighborhood to be built, and it looks like it was the first one to go. Although great friends with the previous owner, he regrets not knowing those who were burned by the blaze better. Four people, my God. I didn't even know what their names were. And used to, we knew everybody. Little Rock police say the remains have been sent to the Arkansas State Crime Lab to positively identify each victim and determine a cause of death. Once each autopsy is complete, authorities will determine where their investigation goes next. So we just had to watch it burn to shreds and couldn't do anything. Stay prayed up and always love your loved ones because you never know when the end comes. It appears that the fire was contained at just this home from speaking to neighbors next door. They were actually offered a place to stay across the street thanks to some hospitality of a neighbor while firefighters fought the blaze. And even though we don't know the cause of this fire or really the cause of these deaths until those autopsies come out, everyone here told me they're checking their smoke detectors and they encourage everyone back home to do the same. Reporting live in Little Rock, I'm Niels Rang. Back to you, Bob and Laura.